Hello there and welcome to City Skylines Deepford episode 17. And as we start, the road is emptying. Which is a pretty good place, that's sort of a nice little starting point. But yes, as we start, the road is emptying and then the cars go flying by. And mopeds and police cars and everything. Wow. Bing. And we fly to a different junction entirely. This one being our new roundabout, which hopefully will behave itself quite nicely with our build. We might have to upgrade these to two lanes, we'll find out later on. But before then, we have to build all this stuff. So in previous episode, we built that roundabout, that crematorium, and that park. Crow's Rest, Arjay's Mystery Meat Restaurant, and roundabout going to our brand new industrial area, which will be going over here. Hello. So if we check out our uh, ore meeting, this is this is all good ore. Good ore. And we have oil over here. So our first priority is going to get that ore up and running. Before we do any further, what's our power situation like? Power's good. What is... Ugh, what is borderline? We've got money to spend. So let's spend it. First of all, let's put a little bit of dumping there. And a little bit of pickup over here. I also saw some red lines. So let's go figure those guys out in a second. Pipe, please. Thank you. And pipe for you. There you go. And now, what were the red flashing things over here? The black flashing things over here. It was there. Uh, nothing, apparently. Probably just that low... Load of educated workers. Well, yes. Okay, so that being solved. I saw a flashing icon. We're going to build our road network into here. So, given we have this all area for doing uh, the stuff. Let's get the roads in place first. Now, it can be a normal street, normal, what is that? Basic road with a painted median. Ooh. Basic two lane road, a painted median, no parking spaces, supports local traffic. And it jumped for some reason. Now that one there, now I like having the uh, meridians in place. It stops the cars from doing weird U-turns when they're picking up, so I like that. We're gonna be doing that on this area. No trees because it is a uh, a ghastly area of horribleness, also known as industry. So let's get these in place. I'm gonna put the first road wants to be coming in from there. Down, we're going back up there. So we can place one roughly centre to this area. It would be great. So let's put a start there. Run across two levels like that, and then we have that one should be our centre road, which pretty much goes out of town like that. And we have this side road coming up here, which will run up there. And this road can then follow it suit, can't it? There you see, look at that. Ow, 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 how good is that? Hang on, one more. Boom. That's our main industry area for that, because that goes into there. And over here, we have all these guys. So if we just bring these across there. Where's your all oh, stop? It stops there, okay. So if we bring you across to there, snap it. There you go. We have all these guys, we have placements, so you should be able to go, no, actually you're not in the right place. There. You can go down there, and then what we'll do is to place all these in, and then I'm going to alter their endings a little bit, because I like to have roads, I don't like having this many junctions on a road, especially an industry based road. Uh, you can go there, no, there, and then you're fine, you can see as you are, and there's really not much more ore we can pull out of the ground there. Uh, let's do that for now. So I've got the placements figured out. And then you go all, all the way down to the end of the beach here. So turn it down there. We'll take you. Dip, dip, dip. Uh, there. That away. And it does actually go up there, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, if we can, we can. If we can, we can't. We can't. Okay. Uh, remove that, that, that. Because of reasons. That one can actually go up there if it wants to go diagonally. And I don't have a re problem with that. As long as it curves instead of diagonally. Go that way, up to there. Bing! It's just, there's, there's, there's aura on them in their hills. <laughs> Basically. And then you can go and get into this area. Like that. And we don't have to go any further down that. That's all of our ore area covered. Now, as I said, I don't like having this one big road. Because this one big road has so many junctions on it, it's just going to ask for trouble. So, this middle road here is our main road from these two. So what we should do here is remove that there and remove that there. That's a lot of buildings coming down this one. So I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to have that one go there and that one go there. 
And this one here can feed back to the other ones, that's fine. Just link up there so it gets all that nice, tasty, tasty. Oh, these ones here, well, they're simple. You get deleted and you get to fill into there and you get to link at the top end here. And that's a bridge, which is kind of weird. Well, I've got no problem with the bridge there because it's, you know, elevated at that point. Good, you get to do the same treatment. You get deleted there and you're connected there and you can can this way on I oh, get to that one couldn't you quite easily no there you go and I'm happy with that those little bridges are fine that's fine there they are good I mean I should be happy with these two for the most part but I'm gonna get I'm gonna deal with you the way I wanted to deal with you before is just place that there send that one off there actually so delete that windy road but you from there to there. There you go. It's weird and I like it and it's odd. And I, and I like it. Now, all of this lot, we should meet this road here. So I'm going to pull this road back a bit. Have it meet here. It would make sense to be at like a big junction, wouldn't it? So, four lane road. Well, these are these are one way link, one lanes. Well, that should be greater than it, shouldn't it? Because that's clearly the big big road of the, of the area. You know, the problem with this is that's all all land and we're actually wasting all land, isn't it? Ah. Well, then, give me a two-lane road, straight line. And we'll place it here. Going that way. Because these are actually wasting or if we put it where I just said to put it a minute ago. Put it there. There we go. And get these guys. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. There we go. Right, the reason we won't get rid of that lot is this is a lot of extra oil land here, so make sure we're not wasting any of it. We are not wasting much of it, actually. I'm actually happy with what I had set up. But I want these guys to come to a bigger road like this on a semi-regular basis, and then link up to that. Would be a much better way of doing it. Okay, so you get to connect to there, like that. And they can go away, there's no reason to have that. And we've got a bit more oil over there. Hmm. And then I want these guys... I still want to go up about this, you see. I want to I want to be a little bit weird with the pl placements. You will go in there. See, if I do that, all of that track's going to come through this one road. So that's the problem I want to avoid. So you go there, and then you can go there, right? Would be a potential issue. Potentially. But a potential issue is better than an actual issue, and everyone knows that. You go there. That all feeds into that big road there, and then that big road can feed into that road there, which is no problem at all. It is no problem at all, because, you know, it lies. A lot. You can go there. We'll see how the traffic jams form. If they do form, what we will do is we will deal with them appropriately. That means these guys get to extend a bit further. Because why the hell not? Do it. There we go. Because there won't be anybody on the edge pieces. Because they don't put any traffic on the edge pieces. You never put traffic on the edge pieces. And you go all the way to there. Right. So you, the big road coming in, have to pull back a bit and get in at a right angle. So you're a standard two lane with that. I'm going to pull you out from there. Like that. And then put a turn on that. Which just heads there. Maybe if we put it to there. No. How about we bring that straight forward to about here. And then we make it a quite a large turn. Boom. There we go. <clears throat> so that one comes down, goes into there, and then the traffic splits off in two directions. Yeah, happy with that. Um, not 100% happy with the uh, thing, but what we can do, ah, what we can do, make these a one way road. We could do that. Because then there's not going to be a lot of traffic in both directions here, because that's going to be our biggest issue, couldn't it? Um, we'll leave it for now. Up there, down that one. <clears throat> Wouldn't be an issue at all, actually. Let's do that. For that big one, because it's the biggest road, let's make that a one-way road. There we go. Upgrade. To there. You're facing the wrong way, by the way. Thank you. And then these guys come this way. Bing. There we go. <clears throat> that is good, because that gets everyone onto these roads. The fastest way possible. And our biggest problem actually could be this junction here. That could be a big issue. Hmm. 
Well, because it's all my road, it would actually make perfect sense now. Pull that and put it onto this to make it here. Because if it's a one-way road, it won't have the major traffic problems we had before. So, not that one. Make it the one with the medium, please. One with the meridian, please. Thank you. Uh, bendy one, please. Thank you. You come into there. Into there. Can I have a, bit, a little bit of straight road there, though? Because I'd like to have a little bit of straight. Just so I iron out the road beforehand. Bing! There we go. So they come into there. And they can go straight onto that road there. Or they can turn that way, or they can turn that way. It gives them the, it gives them the options, doesn't it? Now, we currently have traffic lights, which I'm not overly wonderfully fond of traffic lights, but we have traffic lights to deal with this problem. So we can unpause, because we've got all the roads are all fine. That's fine. We'll pull off the road there anyway for this lot. This area needs power and water, and then once we have power and water, we can start zoning it for uh, industry. So, water should come from here, because it makes perfect sense. Go up the road. Bing, I like to go up the road, it makes it look weird. Bing, to there. Bing, perfect. Now, if you can get your water supply to run up a main pipe, everyone will be happy. And that, brought to you by somebody who hasn't got a clue what he's saying half the time. <laughs> run that water pipe up there. Run that water pipe up that road. Ba -da 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 -da. I got a lot of overlap on this one. I don't used to do the overlap. I used to do the 440 rule, which is... For those who don't know, it's a $440 um, dollar, well, cent, whatever it is you're using. A uh, gap between pipes is the most optimal you can get. There's the water. Now we need power. Power! Actually, you're very close to getting power already. When the power kill up to the road end there, you also need a second power line running over there, like that. Just so that you have a redundant link. That's our only power cable. Which is very, 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 very dangerous. So we're going to put another one there. Going over the train track, over the highway. Follow the highway. To there. Cross the river. Go that way. Straight off the train track. And link to that cable there. Now, I don't like these, but these are my only way getting redundant power lines in place. Okay, all that is done. We need to zone this area. Zone, because we need to make sure this is going to do all processing. So, follow the road, follow the road, follow the road. Follow the road, follow the road. They didn't follow the road. Delete. There you go. Right, let's do this again. Follow the road, follow the road, follow the road. And then follow the road. <clears throat> I don't mind if it snaps inwards, because I can create that with it come back out again. But if it snaps on the outside, it really annoys me. Snap, 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 snap. What would happen if you had an industry and you also had the rule of uh, no um, high-density vehicles, you know, no heavy vehicles on the road? That'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Shall we try it? No. But, 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 things. All right, and we don't need to worry about this lot going up here. Unless we get to pass that area there. I saw it. I saw it. Don't worry about it. There we go. Bing. I said bing. Bing, bing. It looks really weird because actually the land as well doesn't help it. Because the land actually, um, uneven terrain, the way the game calculates that piece is kind of weird. And interesting and weird. Did I mention weird? Probably did. And then you go there and across there. There we go. It actually is on the spot. It just looks really odd because of that. Anyway, this is all going to be all based land. So, is that the all one? Or industry. There we go. And we can now zone this area for industry. Now what we're going to do is just zone these end ones first. Just to make sure the power comes in. Because we can spread the power quite happily once we get the power in. Might as well do ones down here as well, haven't we? Just get the power grid up and running. Can we have the proper tool, please? Thank you. Four for you. Four for you. Now, I usually don't put anything on this road once after a certain amount of space. But that's all we need to go. Right, industry is up and running. Farming over here is working fine. Congestion is perfect. I might expand these roads this way a little bit more as well. That will help them out a fair bit, actually. Give these guys a, a, a way to use that. Yes, let's do that while we're here, waiting for the industry over there to start up. It's probably already started up, hasn't it? Probably. Uh, where is the sandy road? It's on the single lane. But most, there it is. Sandy road. Sandy road. No, no. Can we give it a straight line tool, please? Thank you. I want to snap us all. There. And then you. 
And then finally you. There's a fire station there. Well, that's fine, just short one, that's all. And they can all be industry, they can all be farming if we go to zone and they are zoned, they are not currently zoned. So let's just extend their zoning that little tiddly bit to the edge of that road. There we go. Just make sure that they're all covered and we can zone them. Now we go up to the road because we don't put them on the main road. So that's just asking for trouble. Bing there. And budding there. There we go, more farms. Always happy with more farms and no industry. Well, you got industry. Why don't they get industry? Hmm. Anyway, we have industry now, so we can do that. We can say, you guys, all along that, there, and all along... Well, for now, I just say all along that. It'll do you fine. I don't want much industry on this road, so I'm going to let them have up to there, and then I'm stopping them going any further, because that's just asking for trouble at that point there. And they're going to have all that for now. It's, just, it's a starting point for the industry. That's all it is. We just get them started with, with doing stuff. We start seeing vehicles on these roads as well. There we go. First vehicle on the road. Where are you going, my friend? Down there. Because maybe you consider that congestion there is faster to get around. It's possible. Are you, are you with traffic lights? No, you're just slow moving. Hmm. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Maybe the cows. Okay. Well, we've got all that running there. Now, what we need to do is let's put over here. This has been earmarked as a special name for a long while. It's been way overdue. This zone here, which doesn't make a difference because it's not housing, which is going to be all the ores, you know, the stuff to get out of the ground. This is... The Mr. Washington Stone Mine! Na, 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 na. It's been a long time waiting, but we now have Miss Washington Stone Mine online. And we will be no longer low stone. All cooperation! Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we have uh, our industry demand is now down, our housing demand is now up. That's excellent to see. And there's the garbage waste there, it's fine, you got a house, look at all these cars, they're moving really smoothly at the moment. We're getting some congestion here now, which is fine, we expect to start seeing that at some point. A little surprise it took a little bit longer, a little long to get here actually. These, I'm not sure if these are congested or if they're, they're packed. I'm not sure if these are congested or if it's just uh, backing up, we'll find out in a second when the lights change. Okay, if that many cars get out of the junction, it's not backed up, it's normal traffic. That's fine, you're congested. We might need to deal with you somehow. Differently, maybe. This is a three lane, it's a two lane. We can make this into a... I have a, uh, an update that would let me do this. Make this into a three thing to get these cars moving a bit faster. We'll find out. But the traffic does appear to be actually quite flowy right now. And this is doing really well. These guys have got industry, so we can expand that as much as we need to, but I'm okay with that right now. Okay. Pretty happy with everything going the way it is right now, which I'm really surprised that went as good as it did. Now, hopefully we're going to... Actually, I could probably ban any of the goods because that's where there aren't any, actually. It's all cars. Good. We don't allow any HCVs in here, so it means that they can't turn that way. <clears throat> so it keeps all the trucks in this one area. Now, these... Definitely have a problem getting out of this town. Oh, there's a three lane here. There's only a two lane there. So what we should do is give these guys a bit of an upgrade. Give me the road. This is a weird one, but give me the asymmetric road. It's a two lane one way and one lane the other way. Pause it so we can get this in place. We should get the right way around. Yes, that's the one I want. And you can go the other way. There we go. So it brings in uh, one lane going that way, and one lane going that way, but it gives the maximum space of these vehicles turning. Basically gives them more turning ability. Hopefully that'll help them out. We'll find out very shortly. Yes, look at that. They can, the two lanes are turning, two lanes are turning, so hopefully we'll stop seeing congestion back here. Hopefully, anyway. We can't upgrade them because of these buildings here, but 
But let's just hopefully start seeing these vehicles going down a bit faster when they get here. They have more places they can make turns and stuff. I think we're already seeing, yeah, we're seeing cars already taking advantage of this the extra lane. Yeah, but then we're back up here and it's all gone. This side's got a police car or something. Yeah, look at that. Already getting rid of a lot of the backlog there. I think that's pretty good. Now, the only downside we do have is any vehicle coming this way that wants to lead into main town has to go via this route here. Which is not bad in its own right. It just means that they are potentially causing a little bit of congestion. But I don't mind it too much. Not too much. Also, which cars will behave themselves in the junctions? There we go. Look at that. I like that. I like the way they get to this road and they're all ready to go. I wish these guys would get into this lane as well and just really help out. Anyway, how is our farming doing? Our farming expansion is going nicely. There's a lot of people complaining about lack of workers. Which is fine. We just need more housing. Aha! More housing. But what we also need is a road coming out of here. That's two lane. It comes out. Oops, let me get the proper tool. It needs to come out a bit further on here so not cause congestion at these junctions. But come over here for the oil. Oil. So bring out from there. Then we'll swing it this way. Now we may need to deal with this road in a bit of a different way than normal. And by that I mean we might need to um, put a um, traffic lights on that one maybe. I don't know. But anyway we are here. The, welcome to the oil fields. Uh, let's put it forward a little bit more. And that's the road's now queued up for that. That's got a 90 degree bend on the end. There is traffic lights there right now. We're fine with that. But we need to get in there with some small roads. So let's get in there with just the ones I had before. The little Meridian ones. I like those. So it's not farming. So we don't want to put the uh, dirt roads in here. But if we can keep in line with these. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? If we go the long ways on. Or the long ways on. Let's go that way on. Do what we did here. So this works really well. This uh, two lane with no Meridian road going to the centre. Let's do that. So let's actually put that road in first, shall we? <coughs> um, so it's a four lane road. It was a four lane road. It was this one here, small four lane road. It had a straight line and it went straight line with these. So I'm going to bring that across there just so I can get my placement. Like that. And then this is about the centre point here. So that all the way down. Delete the road at the end. There we go. Now, that road there can link to that road, which I'll pull that back a little bit more. There we go. And then off of that, we'd have the normal two lane roads. Bing. You guys just run across there like that. If I up with these, it'll look quite nice, I think. Like that. We can go that side if we want to, although I'm not sure if we will end up doing that. Like that. And then like that. Now, these are going to produce pollution because they are digging up oil. But I don't really care because, you know, these are farms. They don't need to worry about pollution. <laughs> Is that how it works in real life? Not even close. Pause. Due to power cables. Uh, and that one, actually what I'll do here is we'll put that one to there. Switch to the bendy road tool and we'll just stick that in at the end. Like that. And everyone will be happy. Everyone will be happy. Apart from the people with the power cable problem. But they, yeah, they're always unhappy. Put that there. Put that. Can I, get it? Can I stick it in there? Nope. Alright. Do you have power from somewhere else? You do there and you will do over here. Power cable there, power cable to there, and then power cable ooh, to there, and then to there. So you have a little bit of redundancy there, power cables, you're fine, that doesn't need to be there anymore. That's fine. And this power cable doesn't need to be here for very long because we're going to be bringing in a proper power cable. We should actually, because of that, we can remove all of these power cables. So that's not the building. There we go. Bing, 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 what we should do here is bring that power cable to there. We're going to second run off to there just to get that redundancy until we can build something between these two points, which we will be doing. In fact, probably before the end of the video. Uh, we'll be at 24 minutes. We're fine. Bring me that big road round. Uh, bendy road, yep. Take that back a bit. And we can take you from there. 90 degrees. Oh, hang on a minute. 90 degrees to there. And then bring you on to here. Bing. But we switch over to a smaller road, which I think will have a much better throughput at this point. So you just go there. Boink. Because they're the same type of road, basically. You know, they're just both falling. That just has a meridian. It looks nicer. 
gets to there to match with those guys. Might actually change that out to be the same type. But 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 these guys get to go across here now. Well we should have one more. You pay me that you won't do that properly. Give me the straight line tool. These roads are all gonna be going down to here. Just down pretty much as far as I can put them without getting into the water too much. There we go. Uh, you are going to come that away, all the way down to here, because that's where the oil ends. Let's just double check that. Oil! Yep, the oil ends there. And then it means you are the last one in the chain. And you might as well go to the end, because there are other buildings that work with oil that don't actually have oil in them, isn't there? Isn't there? Told you the words. There we go. And you can go down a bit to there, and you can go down a bit to there. That's our oil industry. We gotta make sure the power cables go up to where I wanted them to be, so Bing! Bong bong bong. Told you I'd take them up before the end of the episode, didn't I? Oil will go into there. And you can have your oil your power cable going from there to there. And then you for the sake of it, you can be linked to each other so you don't complain. There we go. Unpause. There are no rules now connected to anywhere badly. And what we can do here is paint this guy in. Now what I'm going to do here is really quickly, this is our new oil district. Oil, 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 la 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 Now I'm going to make sure the middle part's painted properly. It goes right up against the farm. Now the thing about the oil I need your attention on. The oil district has not got a name and there are currently no named outstanding. So if you would like your name in the oil district, please let me know in the comments right now. It may be an episode or so before I get around doing it, because I do plan to record in little batches. But uh, before I name this uh, area, I will make sure we check the comments. So, uh, do please, if you would like to have the Odyssey to name after yourself, let me know. Just pull that back a bit. For the line. There we go. Okay, don't worry about that piece, unfortunately. That side's fine. There we go. It makes my side oil only. Oil only. Blip. It is marked as oil only. I'm not going to zone it yet. I'm going to zone it later on, but we don't have the demand for, to use it right now. We've got people over here bringing ore in, because ore is amazing. So, let's just, last thing we're going to do here is just give these guys a little bit of uh, ore supply. So, these ones here. There they go. And these guys. Yeah, have all of that. We keep it off the main road now, you see. There we go. And I oh, will do that for you. There we go. All the uh, places in here that need to be in here are up and running. Miss Washington Toad's stone mine is up and line. Our oil facility, which could be named after anybody in chat, is online. And everywhere else appears to actually be running quite smoothly. I am overly surprised. But until next time, comments in the comments. Fans watching, and I'll see you next time.